I've just seen a rat. I've just seen a rat running down just where I'm sitting here having a nice a nice cup of coffee. Um, all you need to love uh, all you need is love the dog. Um, at a uh, it's a calf uh, no, it's not a calf, it's a burger vanny type stuff which I passed earlier on. And they've all come out and had a look at the bike and stuff like that, but just having a just having a brew. Oh, it's not bad coffee actually as well. But here we are at uh, Manning Tree Stroke Misty Manning Tree. And uh, yeah, just done the done the trip down to Ramsey, which obviously will be on the video before this. Um, oh, there's some mad people in some sort of rowing boat over there. I don't know if you can see them coming through there. I don't know what they're up to. They're doing some sort of, yeah, rowing. But still, here we are. <clears throat> I haven't been down the Ramsey Road for 20 years when I had my ZXR6 Ninja. Time has taken a bit of a toll on the on the roads down there. Um, but hopefully I've got a nice video of some of the new twisty bits that they've done. The weather's starting to come out a little bit as well. What are they up to over there? Other than rowing like mad things. I don't know if you can still see them over there with my dodgy video. Yeah, they're waving and they're waving and doing all sorts of mad stuff, whoever they are. Yes, they obviously they obviously know the person who does the um, the coffees. Hmm. What a lovely day. Yeah, it's good that everybody comes out and have a look at your bike. Oh, this is a nice coffee. It's warm my hands up nicely. And there we go. I'm going to go and head back and do a bit more video in with matey. Head, head back to head back to the bike return my cup and say cheerio to my new chum but there you go that's oh sorry <laughs> sorry and there we go you have to get the name of the place to put on youtube Whoa, here we go on this <clears throat> additional byway that I found on the way home from the Ramsey trip. But uh, yeah, starting off all okay. Quite hard, compact underneath. Um, we've got the old KLR going nicely. Thinking, yeah, this is good. If we do a sort of a half a mile or three quarters of a mile of this. Happy days till we got to this point where it's like, right, okay, then do I carry straight on, which looked a bit iffy. Or no, this looks a little bit more favourable, but... I wish I hadn't, I wish I'd gone straight on now because as you can see it gets rather muddy rather quick. Now this is not the worst of this track but nevertheless this is first, second gear keeping to the relatively harder drier bit but nevertheless the front end is all over the place. You can see someone has also used a 4x4 or not as the case may be down here so perhaps this was the way to go because that's not a farm vehicle tracks no, that's on there but anyway it's it's like right okay then come on Terry this is this is half decent this is what this bike is designed for 
and uh, it can only get it can only get better. But looking at the field on the left hand side there, it looks very sticky, very clay. But obviously this is one of the byways where the farmer cannot plough right up to the edge of the uh, of the hedge there. But yes, it's now getting a bit hairy. There is a point where you can turn back. Now there's another point here. Do I go straight on? But when I looked at the map, I'm sure it did sort of a bit of a loop round, um, left, left, left. But this particular bit, I get up the second, maybe third gear, um, still a bit sketchy, but doable. Um, feet weren't up by then, it certainly was not going to stand up. Um, but uh, but yeah, so anyway, that bit, that was all. Thing. Then we got to this final last 200 yards. And this was as sketchy as you're going to get. Um, the bike was struggling to move, revving quite hard, real sticky clay, and uh, <coughs> struggling really to get any forward movement. And again, decision time was uh, right or left. And again, I wish I'd gone straight on. It looked a bit more favourable. But then I saw this opening on the right hand side here, thinking it's going to be to the road. So I opted for the less. Lesser two eagles, which, um, yeah, as you can see, it is really, really sketchy, and that mud is just like being on ice. And if you've never ridden a bike before, then it may be a push bike when you're going across fields, wet fields. But here, you've got to make the decision to go into some of these tracks. Now, you don't know how deep these tracks are till you get in them, but you've just got to commit. You can go in the middle of the track, which yes it's got a little bit more grip but ultimately that deteriorates into a quagmire which is what this is just let you re, uh, review some of the some of the footage by now my boots are, are caked you cannot even see the same or what colour my boots are, they are just the same colour as that dirt. Um, but you have to keep going, because ultimately you can only go back. But I think here, again another decision, that looked quite murky there, but on the right hand side here, looked a little bit more... Again, I don't know whether I'm on a byway now, or regional farm tracks, because it's all very sketchy, nothing's really been written down, or shown on this particular bit.
might have taken the off-roading a bit too far because that is just caked in in uh, um, your fine English farm field track type stuff but that was fun though if not a bit sketchy uh, hopefully the video um, will show how sketchy that really was but it's caked in mud oh, I've not got to spend ages cleaning my bike okay here we go then <laughs> 